Hello, welcome to Electronics Education. I am Vincent Chan. Today, I'm going to teach you another type of, type of uh, filter uh, called active filter based on inductor replacement. Active filter based on inductor replacement, part one, Antonio inductance simulation circuit. Antonio general impedance converter. Uh, this circuit is the general impedance converter uh, invented by Antonio. And it's composed of five, uh, two operational amplifiers and five general impedance. It could be a resistor, a capacitor, or an inductor. And then we'll try to find out it's, it serves as a two terminal device between the input terminal and the ground. So it's going to serve, again, a two-terminal device. But what's the equivalent input impedance? What's the equivalent impedance of, the, of this two-terminal device? So it's a little bit complicated, but I want you to pay attention on the two negative feedback loop. In other words, if you change, if you switch the, the positive and the negative terminal of the RPAN, it's not gonna work. So it has to be remain in the negative feedback configuration. So look at the first up end on the bottom is the negative feedback loop. And the second up end on the top is also another negative feedback loop. So negative feedback configuration has to be maintained. All right, so now uh, it seems that this feedback configuration is a little bit complicated. So the best way to solve this is to fit the circuit with a testing voltage generator. So it's the VT. And then you fit a current, and it's the I. So you find out the relationship between the testing voltage and the testing current will give you the answer for the equivalent input impedance. All right, so now we also I'll mark a several voltage here, V1, V2, V3, and V4, and I1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So now, step one, we apply a voltage, Vt, and try to test the current, I. And then the second step and third step is the virtual short of the two up end. The virtual short of the first up end tells us V2 equals Vt. And the second virtual short, the, the virtual short of another R pan uh, tells us the V4 equals V2. So 4 equals 2 equals Vt. And then you get the current, I4, right? And then you can move on to the step 5 to get the voltage at V3. So voltage at V3 is the voltage at V4. Um, plus, so it's the potential against the current. So against the current, it's the potential increase. So increase the drop. It's the I4 times the Z4. And then what? Then you can have, you can get the, the current flowing through Z3. So now you got step five, you get, uh, we got V3, right? So I3 equals what? The voltage difference, the V3 minus V2 divided by Z3. So here's the answer for step six. So what's the next? So you get the current I3, right? So then you can find out the voltage at V2. So the voltage at V2 uh, is, oh, voltage at V2, V2 is the Vt. So voltage at the V1. So voltage at the V1 is supposed to be V2 minus the voltage drop. The drop across the Z2 is the I2 times Z2. All right? So you get the V1. V1 is close. Uh, it's close. And then, then what? You find out the V1 is not very complicated. It's proportional to Vt. So here comes the final step. Here comes the final step. You get the the current I1, right? So the current I1 is what? It's the voltage difference across Z1. It's the Vt minus V1 divided by Z1. 
So if you pay attention to the math uh, detail, then the VT got canceled out. And then you find out it's very, it's not very complicated on the left bottom corner. So here's the answer. For the input impedance of this structure, the general impedance converter, the general impedance converter, the equivalent input impedance equals 135 in the numerator, and then 2 times 4 in the denominator. Of course, if the five or three cases, okay, so three cases, three, case, three types of application. The first type is assuming the the five general impedance are all resistors, right? So the input impedance will be a pure number. A real number will be a resistor. So you don't need the two operational amplifier to create this kind of complicated structure just to create a equivalent impedance as a resistor, right? Right, there's no point. And then the second application is assuming two and the four. Two or four are equivalent inductance. And then your input impedance will become an equivalent capacitance, right? This is also, there's no point for this, right? Why you use a heavy weight, a bulky inductor to create an equivalent capacitance? So the major application of this structure is to choose either two or four as a capacitor to simulate an equivalent inductance. So this circuit is also called Antonio inductance simulation circuit. Antonio inductance simulation circuit. So let me repeat what I just said. I said, if you choose either two or four, in this case, we choose two as a capacitor. And one, three, four, five as a resistor. And then you plug in the Z2, replace Z2 with one over SC2. And then here's the outcome. So you see the input impedance is proportional to S. So the equivalent inductance will be interpret, interpreted by the product of 2, 1, 3, 5, and divided by R4. That's the value of the equivalent inductance. Again, the major application. The major application is the Antonio inductance simulation, right? So you can choose either 2 or 4 as capacitor, and the rest of the component as the resistor. So you can use the active RC, two operational amplifier, four resistor, and one capacitor to simulate an equivalent inductance. Let, let me ask you another question. What about if the two or four both are capacitor? So what kind of device you are simulating? The negative resistance, right? The negative resistance is also another interesting application. So this is the end of the lecture. In the next lecture video, I'm going to teach you how to use the Antonio inductance simulation to synthesize a second order filter. So look forward to seeing you in the next lecture video. Thanks for watching.